guys. It's been some time since I last posted, I know. There's been a lot of excitement. A lot of excitement. I've been going out like every weekend. Uh, um, as you know, we've been going to venues. And then, um, you know, for G&I's wedding and all. Um, yeah, that's been pretty fun. It's, you know, I like the exploration and all that good stuff. Got a few more to go to, so... Yeah, that's been pretty good. Um, also went to the zoo. And, um, Lynn Villa Orchards twice, actually. The good thing is it's not too, too far, so we were able to. <laughs> uh, another big thing that's happened is, um, this is also a warning for everybody else out there, too, in your living arrangements. Um, because, I'll tell you what, it's getting cold out. Believe me, I went out in this t-shirt and my, my shorts here, you know. And yeah, it's apparently 40 degrees out there, my stupid self. So, the good thing is I was just out there briefly and took the trash out. So, but yeah, so that's going to lead to things coming in. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, we did find something that came in. Uh, the good thing is, um, we set traps and all. We found one thing, that's why. The bad thing was it was a baby one. A baby mouse. I felt extremely guilty of being its murderer. Uh, not immediate murderer, but you know what I mean. I felt bad. Guilt still gets me, I'm not even going to lie, especially with it being a baby. Uh, but hey, good thing is, it's not, you know, we called the landlord, they're taking care of it come Monday. Other than that, we've set traps, we've got stuff out here. Good thing is, it's not in plain sight, so not everybody's going to go. And the good thing is, the good thing and bad thing both actually it's very common um so as you, as you know ever since we spotted it we started cleaning this house very much so so yeah um but yeah i know initially i was embarrassed but then they're just like it's common i'm just like okay that's assuring but kind of freaky at the same time so, just a heads up for everybody out there, um, <laughs> don't be embarrassed about it like I was initially, um, be sure to clean up and such, and set traps and call the landlord, if you have one, if not, get an, ex an exterminator, have them help with that. Another thing that I'm getting is one of these high-pitched machine thingies apparently it's going to release a high pitch that we won't hear us humans and even animals won't well pets i should say proper pets won't hear but you know rodents um you know rats mice even bugs will hear and we'll drive them insane and make them go away it won't kill them it won't do anything you know grotesque thankfully like I said, I felt horrible enough with that, the, the uh, baby mouse dying. I'm still, I mean, I'm pretty sure I know how it came, it probably came in right over there. But, uh, like I said, we're going to get, we got the landlord take care of it and get an exterminator coming Monday, thankfully. And even when we called, they were well aware of it, thankfully. They said, yeah, we know, <laughs> we've heard, we got somebody coming. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> You know, they got our number and all that stuff. So, yeah, just don't be embarrassed. Don't be afraid to call for help. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm guilty of not doing. I'm not one to really too much to ask for help. I've gotten better. I've gotten a lot better. A lot better, thankfully. The only thing i got to really work on is my communication skills. <laughs> Because stuff happens. 
stuff ensues, and then after the fact, I ha I explain everything, and then they're just like, why didn't you tell us this before? <laughs> it's like, you know, not really the sense of emotion. Not, it doesn't really tune me, you know? When I get emotional, I tend to shut down in ways and open up in other ways. My go-to defense is anger. Sadly enough, I've been working on that. Thankfully, it's not, you know, it's not anger anymore. It's more intensity. Not even anger. It's more intensity. Intensity and maybe... I don't even know. That's, that's, that's the big thing. It's just more intensity anymore. You know, I'm not going to be all in your face and be like... Nah, 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 you know what I mean? I'm going to be more of... What? <laughs> you know, it's more confusion, actually. So, uh, another big thing is I got my hair cut today. I know. What left of it? I know. I know. I've heard it all. But hey, I used to be very, uh, what's the word, sensitive about that. But now it's just like, whatever. <laughs> Especially hearing that my, my grandfather actually rocks the comb over. So I'm just like, hey, maybe one day I can. And then they'll call me, you know, they'll call me Grandpa. <laughs> or Pop Pop, you know. Yeah, I used to be real bad, Elliot. Yeah. Sounds about it. I still am a little bit, but now, not anymore. It's like, okay. You know? Um, but yeah, it's mostly the sides. Usually when I wake up, it's like, you know, I'm just like, okay, I could rock a comb over, but at the same time, I don't want to yet. Do I look like I'm over 40? Don't answer that. But that's beside the point. <laughs> um, also, um, another good thing. I actually opened this guy up today. This controller. For my PC. And it works. I plugged it right in. Connected right to it. And now apparently I, my Xbox Live is there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that's another big thing. Streets of Kamarucho works with it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get on Steam and get Streets of Kamarucho. It's free. It's free today. Well, technically today. It's yesterday and today. This weekend. So, it'll be over tonight. Get Streets of Kamarucho. It's from Sega for their 60th anniversary on um, Steam. It's completely, totally free. I swear to you, if you're into Streets of Rage and all that, it's really good. <laughs> and there, it's... That it's free, don't expect it to be no 5 star A plus title, but it's like Streets of Rage. Like, really watered down, but it's definitely a good game worth at least a play, a, a, a round one playthrough. So, because like I said, it's Streets of Rage. So, but yeah, that's all the excitement that's been going on lately. Um, like I said, I gave you some tips about having mice, rodents, and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, if you want to know about that, um, high pitch thing, let me pull it up on here for you. Yeah, it's, um, it's apparently, like I said, it's going to keep away stuff. It keeps a high pitch noise that pets or anybody. So if anybody has, like, I'm assuming if they have hamsters or gerbils or anything like that, I, I know it's technically not a rodent, but at the same time, I'd be wary. So that's the big thing I'd be worried about. Here it is right here. This is what I got. Oh, none of my information, so I'm just trying to... Oh my God, I just want to get the information on it! There. Okay. There's no information on of me on there. This is what it's called. The uh, ES-1 Ultrasonic Pest Repeller Wall Plug-In. Yeah. It's a two-pack, thankfully, so I can put one in here and one in the bedroom. So I'll do that. It does 1,600 square feet each. It's $20, which is actually really good for a two-pack. So, yeah. Trust me, I don't want... I, I mean, like I said, I don't want to have to do anything like that again. I'm, that guilt's already wrecking me, dude. <laughs> I mean, I know. Oh, my God, it was a rat. It was a mouth or whatever. Don't feel bad and all that. It's like, well, it's still a living being. I mean, sure, it's completely different than, you know, cows and pigs and stuff. But those things, but they're those things. But they're, you know, a lot of them, you don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I, I don't want to get into this whole 
political debate about, you know, eating meat and animals and all that stuff. So that's the can of worms I'm not going to open up. But the whole thing I can say is, I, I, I don't even know. I don't even want to open that can of worms. It ain't worth it. I'm, I'm more diplomatic than that. Let's just say, there's a way they die. <laughs> And I know I'm partially going to be to blame for it, so it's really guilted me. You know what I mean? And there's a difference. I know I, I had it stuck in a trap, and then I, you know, wrapped it up 10,000 times and took it out to a dumpster somewhere. So it's like, dude, it's just going to be in there and starve to death. I mean, that's, that, that guilts me. That guilts me very much so. So. But at the same time, it's like, the whole thing that I think of with it, hear me out with this. You know, if it would be, I mean, it's one thing to be able to talk to animals and stuff, but, you know, if you could actually, if I could actually communicate with it or something. And like, ha not have it rummage through my house, eat through my stuff and all. You know, if it would actually be a suitable living, living arrangement, you know what I mean? Like how, you know, roommates pay rent and stuff like that. And I mean, I know, a mouse can't pay rent or anything like that. But, you know, if you could have it go around and, you know, I mean, the whole thing, you know, I know I'm going through like a whole Stuart Little thing here. But it's like, dude, I'd rather have it kind of semi-trained and, you know, be like, hey, could you just run around and, you know, dust the place for me or something, you know what I mean? And then, you know, just don't be having no house parties and stuff with your, with your crew, you know, I'll, I'll feed you and all that good stuff, you know, if you help me clean up the house and not, you know, don't bite me and all that good stuff, you know, I'm pulling, through, I'm pulling for a whole Stuart Little bullcrap thing. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, dude, that would be pretty cool, you know? You wouldn't have to worry about, you know, having to be kind of inhumane. <laughs> just be like, hey, you know? Just, you know, help me clean up the house a bit. And maybe get rid of, like, bugs and stuff. You know? And then, you know, I'll feed you and all that. Like a pet, kind of. But at the same time, more like a free roomie. Especially with, you know, rats not having, rats and mice not having to eat like that. You could just have, like, a little area in, like, a corner for it and just put a little food there <laughs> with some water and have, like, a little potty area. <laughs> it would be nice instead of having to go through all this trouble and be like, No, you need to get out. <clears throat> you know, but, you know, like I said, I'm diplomatic like that. I try to be. <sighs> but like I said, that still get ridden. <clears throat> but hey, at least it gave us a reason to clean up around the house. You know what I mean? <sighs> Didn't want to have to, but I did. So. <sighs> uh, well, anyways, that's enough of my ramblings and all that. I want to get on Xenoverse for a bit, so. If you have a PlayStation 4, hit me up, so I can. Or, you know, I don't do too much on Steam or whatever. Steam or Xbox Live, whatever it is. I don't even have any friends on that. I just, you know, I actually went to my page today with this this, this guy right here. And, like, <laughs> I don't even have any of my friends added on it. I'm like, dude, did they, like, wipe my account or something? Because I didn't touch it. I mean, I know I only played it on my Xbox 360 for a while, for a few months. I mean, I still have the 360. It's literally in the closet. <laughs> trying to get rid of it, so. But, yeah, that's all I literally did. It's like, dude, you know, I have no friends on it. I don't even have my friend who got me into it on it anymore. Maybe they deleted me or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just add them later today or something. I don't know. You know, it's all the same for every single one, you know. Samakan here on the PlayStation, on Xbox, on Steam. You know, just literally take the number one out of my name here. I don't know why it didn't let me do it without the one. Maybe, well, for 
on here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like I said, let me get to playing a bit. I'll, uh, you know, I'll be sure to try to post more often. But, like I said, there was a lot of excitement lately. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully this helps you out a bit with, you know, finding, you know, if you need to get rid of bugs and, and or, you know, mice and such. Ro rodents, properly named. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'll try to post more often, like I said, a lot of excitement, so. Um, yeah, hopefully you'll like the video, and like I said, throw a comment or anything down there. I don't know if you've noticed, but I know recently I've been responding to a lot of them. Just, you know, I try to keep this a positive place. Like you said, <laughs> with all the excitement lately, it's it's been mostly positive, so that's a good thing. Anyways, like I said... Let me get on here, let me help some people with their quests, get some of those TP medals and all that good stuff, and uh, we'll definitely chat later. Alright guys, enjoy, hopefully you have a great, uh, you know, it's evening here, but you know if it's morning, afternoon, or early evening, whichever, whatever it is, hopefully it's a good one for you. And uh, like I said, I'll be sure to post, and if you comment, I'll be sure to respond. Alright, um, also... I guess the question of the day is, have you ever had any, like, bug problems or rodent problems, like, at all before? Um, like I said, we had the mouse, and I know for a while, a while earlier, we had slugs, and even last year, we had bees. Bees and ants. We still have some ants here and there, but, you know, that goes without saying. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's been like that. But yeah, that will be my question of the day. Uh, have you ever had any bug rodent problems? You know, like I said, bees, ants, you know, mouse, meese, mice, mice, bees, meese. Why did I say mice, meese? Oh, Mr. Meeseeks, that's probably why. Mr. Meeseeks. But, um, yeah, have you had any problems like that? And did you ever, and did you get them taken care of, or... What did you do to get them taken care of? If not, what happened? <laughs> Alright, um... That's my big question of the day. Alright? I look forward to seeing your responses. Alright? Later, guys.